Cats Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do another unboxing. I have made a second purchase from the one with the diamond art. I tried them for the first time earlier this year. Um, I'd ordered a taster kit sort of the previous year and I got that out and worked on it and I did put up a post review and, and put some of my thoughts on it um, which were largely that it was brilliant that they did a taster kit um, it was great to get to try the company without investing in a larger painting. Um, but unfortunately I had ordered at the wrong time because I'd ordered when they had their older style drills and they then upgraded them so I didn't really get to try that. So I wanted to try them again anyway but I wanted to try a round painting just because the first one that I'd done was square. So even though they've changed their squares I thought it would be good to try a round. And I was browsing for something that would look bright and colourful and just be lovely and sparkly in rounds because rounds are always just that tiny bit sparklier aren't they and I found this painting called Groovy House. So I ordered this on April the 11th and it came on April the 23rd so 12 days shipping which is pretty good because they say two to four weeks for shipping because their, their products do ship out of China and the one with the diamond art if you're not familiar with them is a licensed artwork company based in the UK but they ship out of China so they do ship worldwide for what I believe are pretty reasonable rates. It's arrived a little bit battered, don't want to show you my details on that side so I'm hoping everything's okay on the inside because the box is definitely not kind of flush anymore. But let's have a look. I divvied for a while about what size to buy because the one with the diamond art offers um, a big range of products so they offer things in square or round they offer you the choice of whether to include ABs or not and they um, they offer a range of sizes but they don't have rendering pictures on their website so what you can do is email or Facebook message their customer support and they will send you rendering pictures pretty quickly so you know it works well as a system I and others have suggested to them that if they could put maybe even just a sample couple of renderings on their website it might help for browsing because personally if I'm if I'm differing between quite a few paintings I don't really want to have to send off for like 20 rendering pictures anyway here it is oh okay so it's come in a totally plain box which is interesting and you can see better there that it's a bit squished let's have a look so yeah, I sent off and asked for rendering pictures, but then I actually went for a smaller painting than they suggested, so I'm hoping it's okay. The painting I went for, I will try and put a picture up on the screen now to show you what I'm going to be talking about for the rest of the video. And they suggested that 80 by 80 would be a good size for it. However, the step up in cost from lower ones to higher ones was quite high. I mean, it was probably proportionate because 80 times 80 is a lot bigger <laughs> than 60 by 60. Um, but yeah, it, it just felt a bit steep to me to make that leap. And I also didn't want a huge painting. So I went for 60 by 60 and we're hoping that's gonna be okay. Okay, right. So my toolkit's collapsed. <laughs> that's fine. So it comes in this lovely little organza bag, but it has ripped, so that's why some bits were falling out. So in here I have a tray. I've got three different multi-placers. I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with these thicker, wider ones because they don't suit me as well. I would say that's probably a six placer. So that's maybe an eight or nine placer and a three placer. The pen and squishy some tweezers, a nice little pot with oh three pads of pink wax, and some lovely washi tape. I like that. Very pretty. And there's also their business card in here so I'll just make sure that focuses. So thanks from Megan Kathy, the one with the diamond art our community so they have a Facebook group which I'm a member of um, and a Facebook page so those are great resources if you want to check them out. There we are, let me put that away. So 
So yeah, I'm hoping I'm not going to have made an error because I'm treading the boundary between I don't want to do too many huge paintings because I've already got a lot in my stash. But also, if the details don't come out well in it, that will really irk me. And of course, the bigger painting would almost certainly look better if I'd gone for the 80 by 80 like they suggested. It would be bound to be crisper with more detail. But yeah, it's sort of double the area. <laughs> Um, so double the painting area so it cost about double and I just I didn't want to go to that much okay I'm being very disorganized I've got all my drills all messed up here Ooh, a b I'll have a look at those in a minute so it's another little look at the picture it's so bright and colorful it's just rainbows it makes me happy so there are 48 colours and this is just plain paper, there's no sticker sheet. So what I will probably do when I work on this is run this through my um, photocopier printer type thing and use that to get the labels off, that's not a problem. And I went for ABs, there was a choice of whether to include ABs or not and I went for them. So is that what they mean by these R ones at the bottom? Yes, because that's an AB and it's... 798R but 798R looks to be blue that you would think would be one of the others hmm okay let me find my ABs and work out what's going on there right I've searched through all my colours and found the four ABs and I've been sent one that's wrong um, so on here I should have DMC 445 which is this one DMC 550 which is this one DMC 907 which is this one but this one that's labelled 798 as you can tell from the key should be a blue one Gems Flow says that it should be a Delft blue so yeah I'm just going to have to pop them a message about that no problem mistakes happen and then these are all my other colours let's have a look at some So, okay, so these look to be acrylic round drills, so when they said that they'd upgraded their drills to resin, I guess that just referred to square. A lot of places do that to be honest, it's not a big issue because acrylic drills don't matter so much in rounds, whereas the floors that they have can really make a big difference with squares. Um, I could be wrong, they could be resin, I can't actually see any with flaws, which is normally the way that you can tell. Normally resin drills might have holes on top and acrylic drills might have dimples and they might be sort of more misshapen and they might have dimples on the bottom. And I can't see any of that. They look very nice and sparkly. Let me check a different colour. Oops. I spilt some there. But whatever they are, like I say, it doesn't necessarily matter that much for round drills and they do look really uniform and really sparkly. It's probably not a great colour to show you, but let's have a go. Okay. And again, no flaws really at all. And there's a few that are ever so slightly misshapen, not as round. These look like excellent quality round drills. I think those are going to be really nice to work with. Let's have a look at one of my ABs. Mm, this one looks pretty. 
The MC550 is one of my favourite colours. It's this lovely purple colour. So, what can possibly go wrong when you put it in an AB form? <laughs> AB stands for Aurora Borealis Drills. And it's about this coating that you see on the top of the drills, if it will focus. There you are. So you see that, and, and on this colour it's like a sort of oil slick effect. Really nice, really nice generous AB coating. It's definitely going to stand out and make a difference in the painting. Really nice, I like them a lot. Okay, let me get these all tidied away and then I can look at the canvas. Right, I've wrapped all those back up as best I can. And now I'm going to look at the canvas. So the one with the diamond art uses a very soft, I think it's like a soft lint canvas, I think is the right way to describe it. And it's poured glue, so I'm going to roll it back on itself to flatten it out. And then have a look. This has been sat in the corner of my room for ages. <laughs> with me wanting to unbox it, but not having time to fill. <laughs> so yeah, see how it suffered. My impatience has suffered. Oh, what's going on there? Hmm, okay. <laughs> There's a random bit of plastic that got me a bit worried there. Okay. Okay, there's two sheets of plastic on it. Never had that before, but there you are. So, let me just flatten that out a tiny bit more. First impressions, the canvas itself, I think the colours are probably quite faded compared to the original artwork. But the colours in here are bright and vibrant. So I think that's just a canvas printing thing and not a rendering thing. Which in that case is fine because I actually really enjoy when the picture that emerges is quite different to how it looks on the canvas originally. It just, it really adds the dimension to it for me because I'm, I'm seeing it kind of come to life more. Oh, there's a bit of a crease there that I want to iron out as well. I'm a bit scared <laughs> because of the two pieces of plastic. I'm a bit worried that I'll pull it off too far. There we are, that's better. So yeah, it looks a lot more muted um, muted in colour right now than I think it will do when it's done. Like these oranges look faded for instance, but I've seen the bright, bright DMC codes um, for orange in, amongst all those drills that I've looked at. My first impressions are, I don't think this is going to be too small. I mean, I was, I was, <laughs> I am terrible at judging this kind of thing. Um, so I don't mean this in any way snarkily, but I was surprised when they said 80 by 80 might be the best. Um, just because I was looking at it and thinking it was a relatively simple design. There are a fair few bits of shading around the house and these trees. Um, and the sort of gradation of shading in the archways and stuff. All of that would absolutely have been a lot smoother in a bigger size. But I don't think it's going to be too small. I, I mean, I hope not. But I'm glad because like 60 by 60 is still a good size painting, isn't it? I just, I didn't want to have to do bigger than that, to be honest. Particularly trying out a company's style for the first time. You know, it's my first round drill painting from them. So it's just nice to not embark on too huge a project. But yeah, it looks really pretty. So the printing is very nice and clear. Let me zoom in and show you. Perfectly crystal clear there. Um, there are guide circles, which I personally do not have a problem with. 
I know not everyone likes that with their round drills. I say that, there are sections that don't, so these white bits don't have any kind of guide circle. But most of the other colours that I can see do. But yeah, as I say, for me that's fine, it helps me keep neater, so I, I don't mind too much at all. I'm really looking forward to these rainbow colours over here. I think as my tastes evolve, because they do, don't they? Like the diamond paintings I buy now are very different to the diamond paintings that I bought when I was starting out. I'm just like, I'm getting more and more obsessed with bright rainbow colours and things. I just, I'm so drawn to paintings like that. And you'll see when I unbox another painting coming up soon <laughs> exactly what I mean. I just cannot resist a rainbow colour. Yeah, I'm happy. Um, I have absolutely no doubt that that little mix up with the AB will be sorted with no problem whatsoever. Um, and then, yeah, I think I've got a good painting here. I'm looking forward to working on it. Okay. So that's it from me today. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed checking this out with me. And if you're not familiar with the one with the diamond art, you should go check them out. Their website is getting bigger all the time. They have added so many artists since I started looking. Um, and as I say, they are all licensed. They've got some really, really beautiful pieces of art on there um, in styles that I haven't seen so much in other shops. So I'm really hoping I get on well with this so I feel more emboldened to order more from them in the future. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. If you've enjoyed this video, please do consider dropping a like on it. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you join us here. Um, but regardless, until next time, bye bye.